this is the Crumzy P2S. It's a new release of a triple screen laptop monitor extender, which consists of two 12 inch displays that connect to your Windows or MacBook with a single USB-C cable. Let's unbox this, run through the specs and show you how it works. This is the entire laptop screen. It's pretty compact, it's pretty lightweight to be honest. Let's see what else is in the box before we dive into that. Quick little get started guide. In the middle you have yourself the power plug. And there you have the USB-C to USB-C cable. You have a second USB-C cable for the second monitor. You will require just one cable for each of the monitors, the left and the right. You have a user guide. And finally, not to forget, it does come with a laptop stand in the box as well and it will hold your laptop in place. So it actually comes in this very nice carry case, making it very portable to take with you anywhere. You can put this in your backpack as well if you want to take it to the office. This is the triple screen monitor extender itself. Just to quickly run through the design. Now you have some buttons here on the top. You've got the minus and plus buttons there. We'll be testing out to see what these do. Then you also have this little latch that will extend the left hand side here to make this extender a little bit bigger for your laptop screen. Along the bottom, you can see you have two USB-C slots for those two cables that came in the box. Now to open it up, you simply just open up each of the screens from the back. Then you see there is a little kickstand here. This is a very nicely designed one. You just twist it from the bottom. It can come all the way out. You see these little slots. You just twist it wherever you think is convenient for you to position the actual stand. When you turn it around, there is your full triple screen setup and now you're ready to put your laptop there in the middle. Now I have the edition that is compatible with Mac OS but if you check the link in the description you can also buy one specifically for Windows. Now this is compatible with laptop screens from 13.3 to 16.5 inches. I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro and I will be extending this onto that. So all I need to do is press this button. It does pop out so you need to make sure it doesn't hit anything. You position it from the right hand side, place it there, and then you bring it in from the left. You hold down the latch and you bring it in tight enough where it fits exactly to your laptop screen. And then you can place it down with the kickstand at the back. If you want to reposition it, you can make the kickstand a little bit longer. There we go, it works pretty well. Now I'm going to remove the protective covering on these displays. Now before I connect the cable and set up the extender little screens on the sides, just wanted to run through some of the key specifications and you can also see this from the COMZ website as displayed on my laptop there. Now this does allow a single USB cable connection for the monitors to extend to and each of them are full HD 1080p displays which is very nice and they both operate between 24 to 60 hertz refresh rate. They can also rotate up to 207 degrees so it allows for multiple different angles for depending on how you want to view your work but you can also display them slightly differently if you want to display one monitor vertically then you can also do that and I will also showcase how to set that up. Okay, so it's very simple to go ahead and connect the monitor. So I have the USB-C cable connected to one of the ports on the back of the P2S and the second USB-C cable, I've got it connected to the power adapter at the back, which I'll showcase in a second. Plug it into your USB-C port and it should automatically detect the monitors. So let me just show you the connection. So I just have one cable connected which is really good because then it frees up all of your other ports in case you want to connect any other accessories or chargers. Let's take a look at the back. So I have two USB-C cables connected there. The second one is connected to a power adapter. I've used my own USB-C power adapter because the one that comes in the box is a two pin US based plug, but I've just used one for the UK and I've connected it absolutely fine. So you can use your own if you'd like. But essentially, that's what creates the entire single USB-C connection to both of the monitors. Now you'll notice that they're both currently off. To turn it on, you can just press the power button just there on the top right of the P2S. I will be covering a little bit more about how all of these buttons work because they do use the on-screen display options to open up a menu. So let's go ahead and press this. 
and now they're both starting up. So the first time you do connect this to your MacBook, you may see that this requires a driver to install and you'll only have to do this one time. The driver is called USB display. Once you do plug this into your MacBook, if you go to your desktop, you should automatically see USB display driver pop up and then you just need to run through the installation process and I'll showcase that very quickly now. I double click this and I run the DMG file for macOS. You'll see it's the last one here, USB display enhance macOS, and then you run through the setup guide here. So now you should restart your computer. And there you have it. The laptop has now restarted and you can see both of the side screens have now got content displayed on them. It was very quick and easy to arrange it in your system settings. You can go in and rearrange the left side and the right side accordingly and have your MacBook as the main display there in the middle. Just to show you how smooth this works, going to move around this window across all three screens. And I just like having the convenience of multiple screens just to allow you to get your work to be done a little bit more productively. One thing I also want to mention is that you do need to plug this into a power adapter if your USB-C port has less than 10 watts of output. So most MacBook Pros, especially the newer models, do have a 10 watt output power port on their USB-C, which will allow you to automatically display one of the monitors on the P2S just by drawing in the power from that. If you want to use both together as the split monitors, then you do need to connect a power adapter, especially if you do connect a desktop or a mobile phone to the screen as well. And that is pretty much it. Very simple setup. It's almost plug and play. You just need to install that driver when you do plug the extender in for the first time. It comes with the instructions on how to do that as well. And it didn't take me no more than a minute. So for me, that, that's quite important when I do buy something like this and I don't want to spend too long getting up and running. So that is the triple extender setup. If you wanted to maybe just use one of the screens instead of both, then you can also angle this in a slightly different way. So I'm going to showcase how to do that now. Now, if you maybe wanted to just use one of the monitors and you wanted to have like a vertical view, I folded back the left side. I just have the right side displayed and angled like this. You go back into your display settings and set this to 270 degrees. Hit confirm. And this is great. I work with a lot of software engineers and they sometimes like to use a vertical screen setup just so they can see a lot more of the development code. And you know that's a very convenient way to have more real estate to get your work done a little bit faster so it becomes a little bit more productive. And again, just a single USB-C connection and it's very quick and easy to do so. You only ever have to install the drivers the first time. The next time you close your laptop and restart, you open it again. When you connect that USB-C cable, it should automatically appear in your display settings as your P2S monitor. So let's quickly cover the on-screen display options. If you hit the plus button just on the top, you'll see on the bottom left-hand side of the right monitor, it comes up with the options. You can cycle through each of these. So you have miscellaneous there, OSD settings, color temperatures, and the brightness. You hit the power button to go into each one of these, and you can cycle through and make adjustments as necessary. If, for example, I wanted to change the brightness, make it all the way to 100%, I can do that. Let's dim this down just so you can see the difference it may make. You might not be able to tell on the video so much just because I do have a lot of daylight in the room. It does change the brightness quite a bit, especially if you do use this during the night times. So pretty standard settings. You can pretty much go through all of them. It's as you expect from an OSD menu, but it's very quick and simple to do so. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to showcase. When you're ready to pack it up, it's also very quick and easy. You can just take it off by sliding it upwards. Close your laptop. Take out the USB-C cables. Close the extension and then fold back in the kickstand at the back. Fold the left side monitor first and then the right side. Grab the carry case, place it face down. And there you have it. You are ready to take this with you anyway. 
So that's everything I wanted to showcase to you guys. Make sure to check out the link in the description to find out more information, the latest pricing information, and also a discount code that I may have for you guys to get this a little bit cheaper. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about this, make sure to drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I have really cool tech gadget reviews like this coming out every week. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss those ones and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.